Hello, thank you for joining me. It's 7.30 in the morning. I'm at a campsite about a mile away from Skipton. Today we're going to go on the Staycation Express. It's the local hall train which runs over to Cecil and Carlisle, starts here at Skipton and it runs to Appleby. It has a Class 37 at the northern end and a Class 47 at the southern end. So I'm looking forward to a, a real good bit of diesel bashing. But first, I've got to walk into Skipton. It's about a mile's walk along the canal. So um, let's go along the canal to Skipton Station. I'm just leaving the campsite now. Um, the walk along the canal is going to be quite interesting. This leads to Liverpool Canal. What do you like how we exit it? We've got this swing bridge here. So whenever a boat wants to come along, the bridge will pivot like this and let the boat through. I've got to carry on along there towards Skipton. You can see the main one of the bypass roads of Skipton. And the railway line is over there. We can't quite see it. Um, so we're going to be travelling back in that direction when we get on the train. So now I've got a very pleasant walk for about a mile towards Skipton along the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. I've just come a couple of hundred yards along the canal. This is the bypass bridge over the canal. It's quite a, yeah, quite nice in a way. I just like the um, how it sweeps across. And if you have a look, you get quite a nice reflection too. Down here is um, Marco. So we are 97 miles away from Liverpool and we're 30 and a quarter from Leeds. Although, yeah, Leeds would be that way. So, yeah, that is how far we are. Obviously, that's as the canal goes, not as the crow flies. Now, the railway line runs just over there and just going off in the distance, pretty hard to see. But that's where the line to Colne went, which is, um, keep talking about reopening, I wish, they'd, wish it would happen. So Skipton, you'd have a direct line to Colne and down south towards Manchester. I'm going to carry on that along the canal soon, we'll be at the station. That was a very pleasant walk along the canal for about 20 minutes. We're nearly at the station now. There's another swing bridge just here, taking people wished across to that area of the town. So this is where we, we leave the canal and um, the railway station is going to be just across the road. So it's a bit like how it used to be. So it started off with canals and then we're moving on to trains, although it's not a steam train. There we go. This is railway station and there is the railway station just across the road. So um, we're going to go. We're going to get on the train. I don't think the train has arrived yet, so I'll film that ride thing and... Um, I'm really looking forward to this. This will be the first time, though, I've not done the sit on Carlisle on a steam train. I've only ever done it on rail tours. I've never done it on um, a passenger train. Yeah, so, um, that man wanted to be featured by the looks of it. Um, so, yeah, I've never done it on a passenger train. Um, I've only ever done it on a steam train. So, anyway, there's Skipton Station. So, my first diesel trip on the on Carlisle, man. So here we are at Skipton Station, 158 has just arrived. I think the train we're going on will have been following this one down Cecil Carlisle because it actually stables at Appleby overnight. You can see the EMUs which work the trains from here to Leeds. It's nice with all the flowers hanging up, the hanging baskets and everything. And I just noticed um, coming down here, over there there's a train of wagons, they must be going to Blystone Colliery, um, not Colliery, Quarry, um, is one of the CAF units, number 353016. There is also a 66 or possibly a 59 up there. Um, I suppose we could. We've got time to walk up and have a look. It's 333005. So our train should be arriving very soon. And then, yeah, we're going to thrash off up the city. Come this far, we'll walk to the end of the platform and see that 66. Look at that, that's really nice. Barrow of flowers on the platform. So, if the M. St. Bolton Abbey Railway ever extends to Skipton, their trains would come down the hill where those wagons are. So, um, you know, maybe one day I'll be back here saying today we're going to Bolton Abbey, but that's probably some way into the future. You know, here's the 66, it's number 66. 771, so from 
a more modern diesel. I'm going to go back down there and wait for an old, old diesel, class 37. Or actually be the 47 that brings the train in, then we'll be leaving behind the class 37. So our train has arrived, we have a 47 at this end, so this is going to be on the rear now. This is 47593, and I'll show you once you get past the spot. Galloway Princess, and there's Great Rice Bobby on the side. Large logo livery. Down the other end, we've got a class 37 in um, BR Green livery. So we'll see more of that at the other end. I just want to show you the carriages. So these are the carriages which ran on the line from London to Norwich, um, so the Great Eastern Main Line up until actually earlier this year, yeah, earlier this year. Um, these are all first class carriages. I used to travel up and down to Norwich in their latter days quite a few times on the 90s, although I never went in first class. So today I'm going to get my first opportunity to travel first class because they're all first class carriages. It gives more space for social distancing, etc. Not to hear the yang, 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 yang. yang of a class 66 just slightly visible above the wall so that's on a on a train down from railstone quarry so let, let's go and find our seat so our charge services limited actually let's go and have a quick look we've still got 10 minutes before we go i'll go and show you the loco because there might be a lot of people at appleby so pretty easy to show it to you here so this loco is in a much um, in an older livery, it's got his three tops number, so it's the 6817. You can see the British Rails Cycling Lion. So this is the livery that would have sort of overlapped with the steam age. So there we go. This is our first step that's going to take us up to Appleby. Now let's go and get on the train. It's going to be a really nice day out, I think. It's a lovely day, the sun's shining, and a I've been to Appleby Station quite a lot on Steam Charters Watering, but I've never ever actually been into Appleby Town Centre, so I'm also looking forward to that. So, I know I'm in Coach A, so I'm going to get on and find my seat. So, on we get. Steam Tuvia off the train. In a moment, I'll walk through and show you a bit more of the train. So here we have, you can see the four plus two seating. So I'm going to go and find my seat and sit down and enjoy the ride. Me and Lisa pulled in on the adjacent platform. So here we are on the Staycation Express, sitting in the X First Class Mark III carriages. It's nice, it's very comfortable. Still got the Greater Anglia moquette on the seats, so it provides a reminder of the carriage's former career. and. Um, yeah, it's really nice and pleasant. As for wearing a mask, I've taken my mask off. They've said while you're sitting down at your seat, you don't need to wear a mask. You only need to wear it when moving about the train and I suppose on station. So that's why I'm not wearing a mask. I'm now going to continue enjoying the ride and soon we'll be at Appleby where we can have a nice day exploring Appleby.
Well, we're just approaching Ribblehead Station and we're going to very soon pass over Ribblehead Viaduct, which is just ahead of us up there. So I'm just going to let you see the views really as we pass over Ribblehead Viaduct. The station's just coming up now. Moss, that would have been the Navi settlement when they built this railway. And there's the station in at Ribblehead. Signal box, probably one of the only signal boxes still on Britain's rail network, but um, must be quite a nice place, you know, to be if you're a signalman. There's the, the footpath you can walk along, which must be a really nice walk from the viaduct along here. That's one I've come here on a train and go for a Just coming up now. It's pretty more signal. signal box and, and signal mother's house possibly so we can carry on enjoying the journey now towards Appleby. No, no, we'll so we've arrived at Appleby behind the class 37 it looks like little signals in the off position so I think he's going to go out into the siding so I'm going to watch the train go out into the siding then we're going to go and have a look around the town. So here we are at Appleby, the train's gone now, headed back to Skipton with another load taking one lot of people on the trip to Skipton and then it'll bring another lot of people for a shorter day back to Appleby and then it'll go back to Skipton, bring that lot back and then we'll get on it and head back to Skipton. So here we are, the station's a bit quieter now, there was a lot of people around 10 minutes ago. Just look up the road there though, if we're going to walk up there because up there 
is the site of the other Appleby station. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, run down that ramp there and I'll take you up to the other Appleby station. I just walked up from Appleby station, which is over there. I just wanted to quickly show you the site of the other Appleby station. This was the North Eastern Railway station at Appleby. Now part of this line is a heritage line up at Warcroft. I've not been on it yet, but something I'd like to do on in the future. If we get to here, I'm just seeing the road. Here is the track. So the track's actually there, but it's been tarmacked over. And here is the old good shed. And the track is actually all through there, all through the undergrowth, but you can't see much. So it's now a scrapyard. So that was the other Appleby station. And if we cross the road, have a look here, we can clearly see the track is still in situ. So that does connect up with the Cecil and Carlisle via the sidings where the train we've just come up on went to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the station now and uh, see the train arrive again. So we've seen where the other Appleby station was, coming back to the current Appleby station. There's a couple of things I want to show you here, then I'm going to go and explore the town. Because I've, like I said, I've always, always wanted to come to this town. I've been through it many times, but I've never actually seen the town. So the town centre is down quite a steep hill that way. But before we go down there, you can see the lovely railway station. I wanted to show this to you, this here. This commemorates the millionth railway sleeper. So, yeah, and this is the quite nice little old-fashioned, oh, and the lights are coming on, old-fashioned style waiting room. Now we'll go over the other side and have a little look around there, and then um, I'm just going to go and look around the town. We can go over the lovely old lattice footbridge. Which is disappearing across the country. But here, see the station is still fully accessible because you've got a ramp each side, so um, that's why they haven't got lifts. So we're going to be soon heading off down the hill down there. I can already see the church at the bottom of the hill. So I'll show you inside the station building. If we can go in. railway station. We're going into here, see various old pictures. We come into the ticket office there. Headboard which could go on a train. And there's a small suitcases. You can actually buy a poster here look for a pound train to ticket office. Things are. There's a nameplate, Bishop Eric Tracy. He was a railway photographer and he photographed many trains in steam days and into preservation on the Central Carlisle Railway. There's an early scales there, weighing scales. So I think now it's time for us to go and um, explore Appleby. So it's not far now, just out of here. I'm going to head off down the hill to Appleby, so let's go and explore the town. I've just come down the hill from the station and found the River Eden. Appleby Town Centre is, well there's the church, it's just over the bridge over there, so we're going to walk over the bridge and we'll go and have a look around the town centre, see what there is to see. There is the castle up on the hill, I don't think we'll be going to the castle today, um, yeah, with the current times you have to pre-book a visit. I haven't done that, but perhaps another time I'll come here we can go and visit the castle. Let's go this way now. This is the main road which takes traffic into the town centre, and almost immediately we're on that bridge I just said about. So we'll go up here over the bridge and um, we'll get a nice view here of the River Eden. That's where I was a moment ago. So it's a really quite a beautiful river. Stand in here, give you a real panoramic view. 
So the station is up, up over there. Not a huge amount to see on that side, it's a more wooded section of the river. Coming down here to take us into the town centre. You can do a really nice riverside walk, I'm going to probably do that when I've finished recording. It takes you around there, you can go around the river that way, and you can cross over and come back on the other side of the river. I've always wanted to come down here to this part of, well, I've never, like I said, I've never left the station before, so it's really nice to come down and uh, you can really explore the town centre, see what they have to see, and um, yeah, just explore it really, see what there is. I'm just coming to the main town centre now. So here we are, here's the main market square. Looking up the hill, the castle is up there. We've got this rather interesting building here, which will take us through to where the church is. So we'll just go through there, I'll let you see the church. I'm not expecting it to be open, but um, we can certainly see it from the outside. And then um, I'm going to walk up over the hill to the castle and down to the river a bit further up. So there we are. There is the parish church of St Lawrence. So I'm now going to walk to the top of the hill, I'm going to go up over the hill and we're going to go down and find the River Eden at a more um, quieter spot away from the town centre. I've just come down this lane which took us down round the back of the castle and we come back to the River Eden again. So there's the river, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you Along here there's this Jubilee Bridge here, which they built to take us across the river so we haven't got to go through that rather long ford. And uh, it also will provide us with very nice views over the river. And then from there I'm going to find another way up that way, back up to the station. So that will have sort of been around the whole of Appleby really. So you see, it's really Beautiful sight here, got a weir here, another weir there, and that is a ford, so you can drive right through, the, through there, although I wouldn't suggest doing it unless you have a Larder Neva or a Land Rover. And then you get a view looking downstream on the River Eden. So I think it's a very nice um, part of Appleby, a bit out of the town, a bit of a walk too, but you know. When you come on this trip, you get a real good amount of time here in Appleby. So it gives you the opportunity to really explore the town beyond the actual town itself. So you come down here, there's one thing I want to show you down here. Well, that's, I believe that building there is the old Bongate Mill. Um, as you get off the bridge, it comes down to here. And um, there you are, gets a view off the Jubilee Bridge there, which is just hot. There's a stone sculpture here, there's a few of these along the river, so I thought we'd just have a quick look at that. And um, now I'm going to head back, I'm going to follow the lane up that way and find a way back to the station. So, there's a big giant petal of a flower. So, yeah, I'm now going to head that way up towards the station. I've had a great day on the Staycation Express. It's been a really nice trip, really enjoyed exploring Appleby. It's a very pleasant town by the river. And now here we are back at Skipton. So 
you know, why not come up here and do this? Um, if you live in the area, then obviously you can just come and book and have the ride or do what I did, travel up from the south and have a great day out on the Staycation Express. Or you could, you can get on it at Appleby, come down to Skipton, have a day out in Skipton. So there's really a lot of options here. So as I said, I've had a great day. Hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment. I've got to now walk back along the canal back to the campsite. So thank you very much for watching and thank you to Rail Charter Services for a great day. Thanks very much. Goodbye.